right, BB King, rock me, baby. Hi, I'm Red, and I'm here today, courtesy of Truefire, taking an in-depth look at the song "Rock Me, Baby." Now, it's been done by so many different people, um, but I'm focusing on the BB King version. I put this in the key of C. But certainly you could do it in just about any key. And I think B.B. King does it in um, uh, B-flat. I put it in C. Anyway, um, I'm going to roll the track. I'm going to demonstrate a few different rhythm moves. And then um, I'll discuss what I've done. And then I'll move on, roll the track some more. And I'll do some solo work and uh, talk a little bit about that too. So here we go with the rhythm. Now the first thing I'm going to do is going to be sliding six. So before I go, let me um, just show you where that that's going to happen. Right here, I'm using these three ninth chords. C, F, and G. And then I'm just using um, three note sections of those chords and sliding them. Here we go. Okay, so I started off with sliding six, which is, um, you know, something I, I picked right up off of um, a B.B. King live version of this. And I was using upstrokes so that I'd get the higher notes emphasized a little bit stronger. Okay, so that's your sliding sixth, and that makes a really nice, sweet rhythm. Now, let's just say that there's somebody else already playing that, so you want something different to do. Well, I showed you two other options, and one was to use a traditional blues shuffle rhythm. And you would do that here or here for the C. For the F, you could do it down here or up here. And for the G, likewise, you could do it here or here. I don't think you'd want to go too much further up the fretboard for the rhythms, but um, those are three places where you could, or two different options within one option, I should say. Um, the other thing that I did, and I kind of blended it in um, just so that I could squeeze them together, um, for demonstration purposes only, I would not, you know, jump back and forth probably from the two. But the other thing I did was, um, you know, strike the root and then bar across the second, third, and fourth string, which technically becomes a five of that chord, of that root. Then. I went down a whole step, barred the same three strings, but hammered that third from a minor third to a major third. For the F. For 
for the C or for the G. I'm sorry. So there's your three chords, three different options. Um, so you have you know a couple of different ways you can go with rhythm, and uh, you know that's that's a, that's a, that's you know really a good thing if you end up at a jam session and there's you know somebody else already doing this. Well, you can do something different. Um, you have a few options. Now, as far as the soloing goes, I'm going to play in C minor pentatonic. I'm going to base myself out of the string root right here. I'm going to use the next position up. Okay, I'm going to use that as an extension. And then I'm going to use the BB box. C major 7 or um, C major pentatonic, but then I'm also going to hit those same major pentatonic notes right here. I'm going to use chord tones, the flatted or the, uh, the natural third, which is not in the minor pentatonic. So I'm blending major pentatonic, minor pentatonic, and chord tones, and perhaps some passing tones, too, if they suit the moment. By all means, use them. Um, I'm going to roll the track. I'm going to play a little bit and then talk just a little bit more about it. So, um, you know, my intro lick was, you know, one I stole straight from B.B. King. Very simple lick. When it went to the four, he went... Okay. Other than that, I was just, you know, playing within the minor pentatonic scale there. I was paying attention to major tone notes, or major scale notes, major chord tones. Um, I came up here. Still minor pentatonic. You could be up here too as well. BB King box, major pentatonic. And blend these together, you know, use notes from each, you know, weave in and out of the scales, and um, try to be melodic. That's the thing about B.B. King. He's very melodic. Create small phrases. Um, he does, you know, short, little, vocal-like, expressive phrases. Very digestible, very melodic. So, you know, that's something to focus on, is to make short little phrases make them melodic um, the other thing that I will I will do before I um, before I end this video um, I did the octave the BB King octave thing this is a very um, um, it's an I, I it's, it's a um, signature is the word I was looking for a signature BB King lick and basically I came up here to a C on the first string okay and I I hit that note and slid just a signature BB King thing um, 
And I think the trick to using that kind of a lick is because you come up here, way up to the you know top of the fretboard, and then you have to come back down. The key is to have your target points already in your head, you know. And the best way to do that is, you know, just look at the minor pentatonic here and walk it up the string. All of those are good target notes. That one there is probably the most select. And you see what I'm doing? I'm really milking the bends. So, Rock Me Baby, another song under the belt. I hope this one helps you to um, put another song in your repertoire or to um, further enhance your version of Rock Me Baby. Again, I'm Red, courtesy of Truefire, and I will see you again soon with another song.